Hi guys, welcome to Top Tech Stories this week. This week has all been about CES 2020. CES is the world largest technological exhibition event where all the tech companies come to showcase their innovations for the future. And it takes place every January. So it's just concluded this past week and here are our top 10 biggest innovations from the event. Both have a 6.7 inch 1080p flat OLED displays with the selfie camera cut out in the top middle. They both have 4,500 milliamp hour batteries but no wireless charging. And they run a Snapdragon 855 in the S10 Lite and a similar Exynos 9810 in the Note 10 Lite. Although the camera situations are slightly different on each of them. The Note 10 Lite has three 12 megapixel cameras, a wide, a 2X telephoto, and an ultra wide, simple enough. But then the S10 Lite has a 48 megapixel main camera with super steady shot video. And then Note 10 Lite also adds the stylus, of course, and a headphone jack, but it's the only one not coming to the United States. So Sony had a car in their booth and hot take, I think it looks better than almost every other electric car or any other car out there and better than a lot of the cars on the streets today. But before we get too excited, no, this is not a car that they plan on shipping or letting real people buy and drive, at least right now. What they've done here really is put together a one-off prototype car that's a demonstration of all the different technologies Sony makes that they feel they're kind of already in the automotive business. It had some Tesla and some Porsche lines, like a nice hybrid between the two of them. The whole thing was this satin silver, so no ugly glossy paint with fingerprints or anything like that. And it also helps that it was lit really well. So we got a car. Finally, this is yet another reminder that Microsoft will be dropping support for Windows 7 on the 14th of this month, a few days away. So if you use Windows 7, we highly recommend that you upgrade to Windows 10, but you may continue to use your Windows 7 because Microsoft says that your Windows 7 will still be working, except that you will not be able to gain access to support services, security updates, software updates from Microsoft any longer. So if you want to be able to have access to these, we highly recommend that you upgrade. Hey, why don't you upgrade? The world is changing and technology is advancing and you want to be part of this, all right? So do not be stuck with the past. Windows 7 is now the past. Try out Windows 10, all right? That concludes Top Tech Stories this week and we highly recommend that you share this video with your friends and your contacts and do not forget to subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash techvangelist. See you next week.